So, hey guys, Chauser here. See, in this video I thought I'd talk a bit about what I do when I don't have any content to farm, like when I record this video I'm done with the point event, I'm done with the arena, there's no treasure map or Kisun or anything, so what do I do then? And yeah, basically, the things you can farm in Optic, it's those things you can see here mainly, you can farm level up materials and stuff like that, and level up materials has become like a big game changer now with level limit break because you need a lot of level up materials. So you can see a bit about how I look with turtles. I'm currently over 3k each. And it feels good to have a buffer because you don't know when we get new Grand Voyage and such that I might want to feed a ton of turtles for levels and such. So I'm able to do that. Uh, Unlock powers can be good to farm for some, and the thing is that when you farm CC, you actually farm un unlockable tomes as well. Just a little side note, but otherwise CC is the main thing to farm. And as you see, I don't have that many right now. I was planning to farm a lot of CC during the summer and like Annie and such, but uh, level limit break changed things. My focus has been on turtles. But yeah, basically... You can either farm for CC or you can farm for level up materials. And when you farm for level up materials, you also grind experience. But yeah, I'm going to show my two teams. This is my CC farm team, where I farm CC. And yeah, it's pretty good. I didn't make it. I found it on the uh, Pirate Alliance Discord server. And yeah, this is uh, my exper experience for team, where I also get a lot of level up materials, such as Hemus mainly. And yeah, we're going to start by showcasing the CC farm team, which is against Colo Sicilian. I'm just going to show you where you can find it. It's in the unlockable archives or rec recollection archives. And there he is, and he's part of the 100 points Colosseum Chaos one. And yeah, let's do two playthroughs and talk about the team. And even if I didn't make it completely myself, I've at least optimized it a bit with some support and such. Just need to change the shopper. I'm going to be looking for a good shopper, friend captain, since you do need quite a bit of HP to one the KO with Big Mom special. I could also just invest in Big Mom. I plan to do that, but I haven't got to it yet. So uh, that will also help, of course. Just level limit break in general helps with getting higher HP and such. But yeah, I found a pretty good chopper. Level 130 and limit break expansion. So yeah, let's jump into the team. Let's do like a proper playthrough first and talk about how the team works. You wave clear the first two stages with Soro. Then on stage 3 you got a carrot boss who is quick so she is very weak to kid. And since Chopper is a shooter we can get the end of turn damage. Also, the C reduction is very nice, especially for the Ace that we need to use final stage. And yeah, Wanda here goes down to Big Mom, then she revives at half HP. Which is fine for Big Mom, because Big Mom has double special, so we can easily take out Wanda. And yeah, as you see, this goes very fast, we're already at the final stage. And yeah, you get the Kree Shane, which Carrot support removes. I also have Luchi support for Color Affinity. And Sabo is a bonus just for easier perfect, so I don't miss, uh, mess up and hit grades or such. And yeah, just hit with both Chopper and Kill. Super clean. Uh, the most rare unit on this team is this Ace. Uh, he was given away for free, but it was quite a long time ago, and he's currently unavailable, sadly. Uh, as for why I run this team, like, uh, farm sessions with, like, Cotton Candy and such. 
uh, it only lasts like an hour. So I decided that during that hour I want to like really focus and put in the effort. Otherwise I know that a lot of people do like all the battle teams against Colosseum and such. But I, I decided to not go that route. And I really think this team is really good as well, so I don't mind using it. Uh, as for, like, another thing to consider when doing CC farming is, like, do you do 1 time stamina or 3 times stamina? Uh, on paper, 1 time stamina is a lot more stamina efficient since Chopper doesn't do, give you extra drops because of dupes. But, of course, with 3 times stamina, you get a lot more CC. It just costs a lot more stamina per CC. But, like, yeah, I'm a time efficient kind of guy, so I go with maximum gain rather than maximum efficiency. But, yeah, I can recommend this team if you can build it, and if you're more interested in auto battle teams, you'll have to check some other videos. I don't really know much about it since I've gone a different route, basically. But yeah, that's usually how I farm. I do that for one hour straight, pretty focused while I watch YouTube or listen to some podcast or something. Anyway, let's swap to the experience farm. And I've done a video about this recently, so I just thought I'd do a small recap on it. And also talk a bit about how the experience farm has gone for me during the anniversary. But yeah, uh, what you experience what you experience from it depends on what you need. Like this Usopp is for Sai Himes. This kid is for In Himes. And Usopp is the main one to experience from with since he gives more points in Ray League by Sarvain Selim. This is my strength farm for strength Himes. Uh, the Usopp here is where I farm Dex Himes. And finally. The toy soldier is where I farm quick himes. And some wonder if it matters where you farm, and it does. The ones I point out are the fastest, and when you do multiple runs, it does stack up. So I recommend running those specific ones. And usually I like to check like what do I need most of. And I have the least quick, so that means I'll just do some toy soldier. So I'm going to just record two runs here, and when I end the video, I'm just going to keep playing. I usually uh, keep playing until I fill up my box and then I just sell it off and maybe take a break, do something else or do more if I feel like it. Uh, all the subs on this team are tap timing bonuses so you are guaranteed to do a lot of damage despite orb RNG. Uh, the bottom right doesn't have a unit because uh, four of these Character recruitment islands binds the bottom right final stage. So by not having a unit there, you skip that whole animation and it saves a ton of time. Funnily, this one in particular against Toy Soldier is the fastest by far since stage 4 is only one unit as well. And final stage also has the bind bottom right fast stage. So yeah, the quickest, the fastest by far. No other one has that combination. So, and as for as my progress in Annie, like I started around level 1200, now I'm almost 1370. And I didn't really plan to experience far much, as said, like the level limit break was like a bombshell that dropped with how many level, level up things you need, like Hemus and such. So I've just been farming a ton of Hemus, and in the process I've gained over 150 levels. But yeah, levels are like nice to gain still since you do have more stamina in general, which helps save gems as well down the road. But yeah, I hope this video is helpful and maybe you have an idea of what I do when I don't farm events and other stuff. So yeah, that's it for me and I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.